you from the Real Housewives of New York, but they may not know that you are a fashion icon. You've created fashion lines for Diddy and Jennifer and among others before you launched Yummy, your own brand. And then, um, as that grew and became a multi-million dollar business, um, you also became a philanthropist. You are seen now in a fashion that is known to be real and authentic as a woman business leader. How did you do it, and what can you share around that? Well, you know, I think it's important to always stay, stay true to who you are. You know, your values, who, who you were when you began, why you got into this business to begin with, you know why you had this idea, why you wanted to do what you wanted to do. You can never lose sight of that, never forget where you began and why you started. And, you know, working in New York, you come across with people who maybe don't have values, <laughs> who maybe don't have ethics, but never lose yours, you know? Always stay true to who you are. And I think that if you keep shining your light, like everything else kind of falls into place. And so that's what I did. Yummy was a, a personal initiative. It was a selfish initiative. You know, I was very happy being Beyonce Knowles' creative director. It was an exciting job, and, and it led me to, you know, wonderful places and wonderful experiences. But after I had my first child, I was left with a uh, new baby mm -hmm. and a deflated inner tube around my midsection, <laughs> which was not so yummy. So, <laughs> so while I was at this place where I should be feeling the best in my life, I was kind of feeling the worst about myself personally. And I didn't like that. And so I went to the Shapewear department to boost my confidence, if you will. And when I got there, I was literally aghast at my choices. I mean, these literally were my grandmother's girdles, but I bought up a bunch anyway. And when I got home, they not only failed me, you know, functionally, but they, aesthetically, but they failed me functionally. Mm -hmm. And my husband walked in and was like, what the heck is, I'm like, get out, I'm ugly, I'm terrible. <laughs> and I guess I just did what any good designer would do. It was with that moment, you know, with the tears streaming down my face that I invented the three panel tank. I said, there's gotta be a better way. And so from that one initiative, I knew that so many other women out there felt the way I did. I knew that that was something that I wanted to push forward with. And with that, I've created the brand Yummy by Heather Thompson. So you and I grew up in the Hudson Valley, Berkshires yeah. together, actually yeah. since kids. And one of the things about that area is working hard. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about how you work every day with managing not only your job and your staff and being on a television show, but also being a mother and a mother to a child who has needs that yes. are outside of the norm. Exactly, two child, one, one with needs and, and some health concerns and just another savvy little girl. But you know, I think the most important thing is to realize that there's no such thing as a perfect balance. You know, I'm perfectly happy with my life being perfectly imbalanced. You know, if I try all the time to, you know, be perfect, I'm gonna fail myself, I'm gonna fail my family, I'm gonna fail my staff. I'm gonna fail my customers. Um, so I just try to focus on the task at hand, you know, and I try to stay focused on that task. And the most important thing is that I love what I do. So if you love what you do, it's only work if there's someplace else you'd rather be, right? So I love what I do. And like many of you out there who are entrepreneurs as well, you know you gotta work hard. You gotta work hard to succeed. It doesn't come easy. Nothing from Beyonce Knowles to Jennifer Lopez to Puffy, they all worked really hard. Nobody got anything handed to them. You know, and we grew up in the Hudson Valley and you know, we had working class parents and we both worked since the time we were 13. Michael had a, a, a she mowed lawns, rode his bike and mowed lawns and you know, I worked in the popcorn stand and you know, served ice cream at my mother's restaurant and you know, so you have to work hard, but it's not a problem to do that if you love what you do. So that's, I think, one of my, my favorite pieces of advice is love what you do, because you're going to do a lot of it. That's great. <laughs>